They that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day, when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Romans chapter 8 verse 35 Who shall separate us from the love of Amashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. First and foremost, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutation to the elect brethren scattered across the four corners of the planet Earth. This lesson will be entitled Affliction. A state of pain, distress, or grief, misery, misery, difficulty, an ordeal, a plight, suffering, a torment, or trial. This journey was never promised to be easy, right? It says, the servant is not greater than his master. We're going to have to go through it just as he went through it. Yahweh Shai is the he I'm speaking about, right? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and starting at verse 6, at 5. And having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. For power proved them. And found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace had he tried them. And received them as burnt offering. Right? And in the time of their visitation. They shall shine and run to and fro like sparks amongst the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And the Lord shall reign forever. Right? So in order to get that victory in the end. We are going to have to be tried. And the scripture says we're going to be tried through the furnace of affliction. Right? We're going to have to go through it. We're going to be chastened for the sins. Right? We're going to be corrected as, as though um, we've been pruned as trees. Right? They cut off some of the bad, the bad leaves. You know, you prop it up on one side. And that's the affliction. That's the trial that we're going to go through. This is Sirach chapter 2 verse 5. For as gold is tried in the fire... An acceptable man in the fullness of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Right? So we must believe in the Hawabal Shimei or Shai all the way through. Right? Put not your trust in your own understanding. Lean not into your own understanding. Just stick to the script. What did the scripture say? What did the spirit say concerning the matter? And you're going to come out of it. The scripture said, um, Do no evil and no harm shall come unto thee. But we're going to be afflicted. The trials are going to come, the testing is going to come, the proving is going to come, and the ultimate is what? The, the, the hour of temptation. The time when, it, when the chip is going to be made mandatory, which is the RFID chip I'm speaking about, which is the mark of the beast. Right? That is the ultimate test. But we're going to be tried along the way. There's going to have famine, there's going to have pestilence, there's going to have martial law, there's going to have many things to test your integrity. Satan might send women in your way. Right? Obstacles in the way to make you what? Not study, not teach, not preach, not bring out this word, not to bring forth the manifestation of our Lord and Savior Yahushai, Amashaya. Right? But we cannot let anything come into our, into our path. We're going to be tried. Keep it in the back of your mind. For the new brothers, this is something to expect. This is Sirach chapter 27, verse 5. The furnace proved the potter's vessel. So the trial of so the trial of man is in his reasoning. Right? The trial of man is in the reasoning. We have to be shown, we have to show that we are worthy to rule over kingdoms, to be judges, to be crowned. Alright? We're not just out here professing the name of Yahweh Shimi or Shai for show. Right? But we have to we have to truly show him because hey. We can do this work to please the eyes of men, but to please the Hawa Bashimi Shai is to show your integrity in true in, in, in a true situation. Right? This is Isaiah 48 and 10. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 10.
Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. So as you go through it, you get the different um, financial demon. Your woman coming against you, your family coming against you. You're losing your job. You know, you're on the bread line. You know, things look hopeless. So things look dreary. Guess what? It's all for you to put your trust in your house, your shy. Because before, right? Before you knew the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, before you knew your power and your heritage, right? And it was all out there in the world. You, was, you, 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 you thought you was doing it on your own strength. But now you have to put your trust in Yahweh Shem Yahushai even more so. Because to Him be the glory. To Him be the glory. And we are His servants. We are the bride and He's the bridegroom. Right? So we have to submit ourselves under, under, under the ordinance of our Lord to serve Him no matter what. Right? To serve Him no matter what. This is um, 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 7. It says, Therefore, brethren, we are comforted over you in all your afflictions and distresses by your faith. So we have to keep that faith. The word faith goes back into what? Being trustworthy. Most I give us a commandment to come out here and to preach and to teach. Right? Another word we want to highlight is what? The word chasten. It means to inflict sufferings upon for the purpose of moral improvement. Right? So we're going through it to what? To improve. To be better. Right? To, to put off that old man and put on that new man of faith. The scripture says in Ephesians that we are saved by faith and not of works. But faith in who? Faith in Yahweh or Shai. It says Psalms 118 and 18. The Lord had chastened me so, but he had not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness and I will go, in on to, go into them and I will praise Yahweh. The this gate of Yahweh into which the righteous shall enter, I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. So Yahweh Shai is going to be our salvation. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our salvation in the time to come. When, when all hell break loose, famine, pestilence, anarchy in the earth, when he's going to have sedition of men, race wars, riots, right? And, they, and Esau is going to come with the, 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 the remedy. Which is going to be the mark of submission to their rulership. The ultimate mark of, 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 of slavery and ownership. The RFID chip, the mark of the beast, the beast system. The RFID chip. We know, we're not going to choose that chip. We're going to choose to wait on Yahweh. Be patient, wait and have faith that he's going to deliver us. He's going to be our salvation. Right? This is um, Hebrews chapter 12 verse 10. For they verily, for they verily, for a few days chasten us, and after their own pleasure. But he for an, for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang it down, and the feeble knees, and make straight the paths up for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness with, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest, at, lest any man fail of grace, of power, lest any root of bitterness spring up, trouble spring springing up trouble you and thereby may be defiled psalms 88 verse 9 he said my eyes mourned by reason of affliction lord yahweh bashem yahushai i have called daily upon thee i have stretched out my hands unto thee right so we go to the word affliction right it, 
a cause of pain or arm disorder disease complaint illness right scourge plagues trouble evil so we've been afflicted in the body you know with diseases we've been afflicted by these heathens you know in poverty and misery you know we've been we've been afflicted you know in our in in our in our in our ways you could think about you know because the heathens you know they you know they 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 they, 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 they were pressing us on every side you know the torment trouble misery hardship you understand by your ad by your adversary which is your enemy right by hard trial you understand so we were doing we crying out to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai we stretching forth our hand to him to uh, deliver us from all these these affliction this misery you know from from the heathen ruling over us right just the same thing our four parents did in in the, in the land of Miss Myrim when there was when there was being afflicted with uh, with hard bondage you would have do the cry out to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai so this is the same thing that we're doing so he said my eyes mourned by reason of affliction Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai have have I have called daily upon thee I have stretched out my my hands unto thee and so this with the elect the, the elect doing <clears throat> you know the crying and sign for all the abomination that done in the land yeah, it's not to be delivered from this wickedness right being afflicted with all the GMO food that we eating you know everything that's totally out of order Psalms 106 verse 44 nevertheless he regarded their affliction you know nevertheless the most i regarded their affliction all right we're going to the word regarded right um strong's h 7200 ra -a. Ra -a. Ra -a. right mean consider you understand look spy respect perceive you understand he said to see to look at to inspect to perceive to consider so the most I can consider our affliction is why we got cry and sight to the Heavenly Father. We got to turn back to Him. We got to cry it unto Him. Cry it unto our husband for help. We see the enemy coming to take us, right? Coming to coming to take us by force. So we got to cry out. Psalms 106 verse 44. Nevertheless, He regarded their affliction when He hear their cry. So when He hear their cry, who dare the elect? You understand? Yes. Say, uh, hey, you know. Got a cry to y'all about Shimmy to be delivered. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony. So, like, let me start at verse 7. For the power have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Mosai. So, this is an admonishment from our Lord and Savior to tell us to be partaker of the afflictions of the gospel. And um, you look at this word affliction, uh, it means something that causes pain or suffering. Right? So that causes pain or suffering. Um, so we go to the book now of um, Second Corinthians chapter six verse one. Um, so like here, let me start at verse four. At verse one, man, we then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of the power in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in a day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time, behold, now is the day of salvation, giving no offense in anything. And the ministry be not blamed. There's the point. But in all things, approving ourselves 
as the ministers of the Mosai in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love on theme, by the word of truth, by the power of the Mosai, by the arm of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, yet as like it, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, and just as chastened and not chilled, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. All of this we have to endure. All of this is part of the afflictions. All of this, the Lord said, is how you is how you um approve yourself as the minister of the Mosai. Psalms 129 in verse 1. A song of degrees. Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. May Israel now say. Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 18. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for wide. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. Isaiah 58 and verse 10, And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And Yahweh shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. The word for afflicted in the etymology etymonline.com From the 1300s, affliction, misery, sorrow, pain, distress, act of humility, humiliation, mortification, punishment. A cause of constant, constant pain or sorrow. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 12. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh, Baha Sham Yahweh Shai. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and 11 For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. In these times of affliction, the Mosai is showing what this compassion, this mercy, and his highly long suffering. Because, he, like the scripture to say in the book of Psalms, look, may he remember, okay, how weak and fragile we are in these bodies. Because within these trials and tribulation, we do get weak. But that's the need and the purpose of grace, okay, this short period of time for us to get our act right. Okay, to truly immerse ourselves under the graces of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. In order to be found worthy at the return of Yahweh Shah, we must go through all these afflictions. He also suffered. So those who are his true disciples, his true followers, the true believers of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we will have to go through these afflictions also. And the main affliction when it comes, or when it's going to be proven whether you live or you die, Okay, whether you have to choose between this world 
bowing down to ESO's new system or keeping the faith of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai when that day comes you better be rooted in 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 uh, in, in, uh, in settled under Yahweh Hashim Yahushai that's why we still have this compassion okay and mercy from Yahweh Hashim Yahushai let me get this of Second Corinthians four and sixteen, for which cause we faint not, though the outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. That's why we get it. We're building up ourselves up right now. Scripture says that in Ephesians, having done all to stand, okay, all these afflictions we take them head head headlong, but we pray unto Yahweh Hashemasha that gives us that strength. So that, so that we could be of those who, 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 who the scripture speaks of. Lord willing, we be of that number who have stood so stiffly for the name of Yahabash, Miyosha. That's the kind of afflictions that we're going through. For in hope that we make it. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 35 and 20. says, Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction, as clouds of rain in the time of drought. We need Okay, that mercy through these afflictions. The most high is not unrighteous that could put, he could put more than we can be able to bear. That's why we're still able to get back up. It's a righteous and a just man, he will fall seven times, but he will always get back up. Because this mercy is seasonable. Okay, it is seasonable, this mercy, in these times of affliction. So we could be built up and rooted having done all to stand. Kahalo. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double on us our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Salutation to the elect brethren scattered across the four corners of the planet Earth. Shalom, Prakatam.